Jadron here, this is Tarantula X6, and we are going to do an altitude uh, test on it. There's my altimeter one from Jolly Logic, and we're taking a bit of ways away from my house here. You always want to be safe when you're doing this because there's a good chance it will get away from you, or you'll have a uh, directional hold from your controller, and it'll keep going forward or keep going back or left or right, and then you're going to have to kill throttle and then try to find it. And we are. Let's see here. Menu. Ready for launch. Very simple altitude meter. I'd highly recommend it if you're interested to see how high your quads are going to go. Um, this is rated for 100 meters. I have yet to get 100 meters with it. Um, I've done this once before. I'll have to go back and check and see what the altitude test resulted in. But I'm hoping on 100 meters here. 100 meters is over a thousand feet. I have yet to hit a thousand feet. I got 900 and change with one of my quads which was considerably smaller than this one. And I do have this velcro up. I velcro around the body. I velcro crossing the body and I have the altimeter sitting on it. And I also have two tiny straps of velcro on the front arms just for orientation purposes because this is white. It gets lost in the sky very easily. And uh, it lost signal from the controller, and I had to bring it down and then recatch it. So we're going to try this again, not so much directly above my head. We're going to put it out in front of me a little bit and see if we get it up to go higher. This is a very nice quad, though. Uh, yesterday, everybody's into Pokemon Go. I put a cell phone on this. had the uh, Pokemon Go uh, app running. The quad performed flawlessly, and we got some distance on our uh, egg hatching. We didn't hatch it because I was running off an uh, old battery that I used for the Wraith that I ended up killing uh, a motor on. Obviously, that's not as good as quad as this as far as liftability qualities. But, uh, yeah, I like this drone. It's very quick. And size can be deceiving when it comes to drones. You'd think something this large would be very docile, kind of like the Wraith was, but this, this is quick. You should probably have this in full screen. Um, this isn't a long flight, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speed it up here, guys. And just put it in full screen. You should be able to keep your eye on it. It's at the top, top middle. There's a little black speck. That's uh, our drone. And we're gonna go out and try to bring this back here. Even with those black Velcro strips, it's kind of hard to feel out orientation, but as you can see, I have it back to me. And think about landing this. No, I'm going to go for a catch. Here we go. Bam, that's a good catch. And 613 feet, not bad, not a thousand. I'm J Drone. Please subscribe.